Hey everyone, it's DC here and today I'm going to tell you exactly how to become a cybersecurity engineer in the United States of America in 2019. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what is a cybersecurity engineer, how to become a cybersecurity engineer, the knowledge, skills and abilities required to become a cybersecurity engineer, the average salary to be expected as a cybersecurity engineer and of course where in the US you should look for a job as a cybersecurity engineer or even just a junior cybersecurity professional. Cybersecurity has exploded in the past couple of years with major ransomware attacks such as WannaCry, uh, Petya, NotPetya, and um, it's it's putting enterprises' data at a high risk. So to protect their information and that of their clients, the companies and governments all across the world in all industries are seeking cybersecurity professionals to secure their networks and systems. What is a cybersecurity engineer? A cybersecurity engineer works to build and maintain a system that's safe against cyber attacks. Uh, they focus on fixing and protecting these systems and stay up to date on new technology so that they can keep their systems secure. Cybersecurity engineers work closely with a company's IT team to build an emergency plan to get things up and running quickly following a disaster. They also work, uh, some companies have their own uh, disaster recovery teams depending on how large they are governments often do and the cybersecurity engineers uh, would work closely with those guys as well some of the responsibilities of a cybersecurity engineer include creating new solutions to solve existing security issues if they've walked into a, an environment that's essentially on fire enhancing security capabilities by evaluating new technologies and processes defining implementing and maintaining corporate security policies, configuring and installing firewalls and intrusion detection systems, responding to information security issues, supervising changes in software, hardware, facilities, telecommunications and users needs. So that's very close to help desk and recommending modifications in legal, technical and regulatory areas that affect IT security. So, how do you become a cybersecurity engineer? Cybersecurity engineers work on the front line of information assurance and perform the hands-on detail-orientated tasks for companies and governments, uh, organizations all over the world. Their education, skills and training are the only things that stand between users and future attacks. The mass responsibility they carry for engineering systems puts them at the top of the hierarchy in cybersecurity teams and has made having a graduate degree almost standard for IT jobs that involve security engineering. Many of the skills for a career as a cybersecurity engineer can be validated with a CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst or a CYSA Plus and a CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner also known as the CASP or CASP. Uh, these show that someone has the necessary skills to work in a cybersecurity position where good judgment, high level troubleshooting and safe systems are important. So the following knowledge uh, skills and abilities are required for cybersecurity engineers in the day-to-day -day working life. Knowledge of intrusion detection system, intrusion prevention system, penetration and vulnerability testing. Knowledge of firewall and intrusion detection prevention protocols. Knowledge of secure coding practices, ethical hacking and threat modeling. Windows, Unix, Linux operating systems experience uh, either professional or uh, personal is fine. Knowledge of virtualization technologies. Knowledge of MySQL and uh, other databasing platforms. Knowledge of identity and access management principles. 
Skills Across Application Security and Encryption Technologies, Ability and Knowledge to Secure Network Architectures, Knowledge of Subnetting, Domain Name Servers, Encryption Technologies and Standards uh, like VPNs or Virtual Private Networks, uh, VLANs or Virtual LANs, uh, VoIP and other routing methods. Uh, knowledge of network and web related protocols, for example, TCP, IP, UDP, uh, IPsec protocols, HTTP, HTTPS, routing protocols, etc. And knowledge of advanced persistent threats, phishing and social engineering tactics, and uh, network access controllers, gateway, anti malware, and enhanced authentication. Now, I know this sounds like a lot and it is, um, however, with the following courses and certifications that I'm about to list, uh, you will possess all of the knowledge and skills required that I previously listed. Uh, if you can compete, uh, complete sorry, a degree in cybersecurity or computer science, um, you will pretty much cover all of those skills that I've just listed. So these certifications that I'm about to list are going to also get you over the line. However, a degree is often preferable. So kicking off the CompTIA Security Plus certification, the CompTIA Network Plus certification, a CEH or Certified Ethical Hacker uh, qualification, the GIAC, which is the Global Information Assurance Certification, the CISA, which is the Certified Information Systems Auditor Qualification, a CCNA, which is a Cisco Certified Network Associate, and the CCMP, which is a certified a Cisco Certified Network Professional, an OSCP, which is Offensive Security Certified Professional, a CYSA, which I previously listed as a CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst qualification, and a CASP, which is CompTIA's Advanced Security Practitioner. Uh, some of these certifications are included in the cybersecurity degree uh, that I, I just talked about, but depending on the university you attend um, is sort of what's included and what's not. Um, and quite a few of them can also be found on Cybrary.it. Um, you can also have like discount bundles on that website if you bring them all together. I'm not sponsored by them. I just, I really like their website. Uh, it'll probably take you around two to three years to complete uh, these courses while doing your degree um, or just on their own, to be honest. So keep that in mind when looking at study options and job prospects. If you do manage to get the above certifications, you will 110% be able to get a job in most of the big tech companies across the US, as well as be ahead of most of the uh, other applicants who are applying for the same job as you. Uh, the salary range for uh, cybersecurity in 2019 uh, as a cybersecurity engineer is 116 thousand US dollars and across the US there are currently around 37,000 open job offerings that I could find so there's there's definitely a huge need for uh, for this particular job what are the hottest markets for cybersecurity jobs well the top companies including Apple Lockheed Martin General Motors Capital One and Cisco are hiring cybersecurity professionals right now. Uh, they were listing jobs that they were looking for. Uh, industries such as healthcare, education, and government are the most likely to suffer a cyber attack, uh, which will probably lead to an increase in the number of IT security jobs in those sectors. Um, I myself work as a uh, security specialist contractor. Um, for governments in Australia. You can probably tell by the accent. So, yeah, there are... Um, and, and I can pretty much have back-to-back -back contracts all year round. Um, there's no shortage of, of work in cybersecurity. And the, the same goes for um, in the US. So, that pretty much covers my um, how to become a cybersecurity engineer. 
And I really hope that list of skills that I've listed and um, exactly what a cybersecurity engineer is helps you to uh, get a job. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I always reply. I'm always watching the comments section. Um, just keep in mind that I am in Australia and the, um, the time difference does sometimes catch me out, so I do forget. But just keep asking and I'll, I'll get back to you. Um, if you did like this video, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, of course. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for hanging out.